What's up guys? I know I normally start the vlog with Buenos Dias, but right now it's actually 20 past 10. Wouldn't really be right to say good morning. I've got a bit of a dilemma on my hands. We're actually flying 1600 kilometers north to the city of Arica, which I'm super pumped for. First time in Arica. Lots of Chileans I've spoken to have never been there. About as far north as you can go in Chile. But my dilemma is, well our flight leaves at 5 in the morning. We arrive at Arica at 8 in the morning. But our ride to the airport from my house leaves at 12. I'm trying to work out where I'm going to when I'm going to sleep tonight. Basically my, my plan is to do a series of micro naps and just see if I survive. Because I don't want to waste time in Arica sleeping because I'm only there for like under four days and I have no idea when I'm back. I want to make the most of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep for like an hour now, try to get another snooze in on the airport, then try to get another snooze on the plane, and hopefully those three sleeps are enough to get me through. Three thirty-five in the morning. We've got all our bags checked in. Everything's good to go for the flight. So now I'm going to take my second siesta. It's not really a siesta, but this is my better choice. It's a like bench seat in the McDonald's. So we're finally here, we made it to Arica, and I would say that my idea of the micro napping has worked. Probably gonna feel like shit this afternoon, but right now it's nine, nine o'clock, and I'm feeling great. I don't need to sleep now, which means I've got the whole day to explore Arica. So I'll give you a quick idea of where we're staying. That there is the famous Moro, uh, it's like a big hill that looks over the whole port and city. We've got the port over there and then over there is the central city. Yeah, people always look at you like you're crazy when you vlog. Probably because I am. We just tried to buy our train tickets to Peru but it would take seven hours to cross the border. I later learned this was because the Chilean border staff were on strike. Our Uber's just arrived to go up Moro, so it's all good. Okay. I kinda forgot to vlog anything in the Uber. Here we are, we're up the top of Moro. Moro? Moro. Moro. The view is awesome. I really want a drone, but until I can afford one, I'm just gonna have to keep coming up the top of tall things. Anyway, we've got the sea out there, and then behind me there is the city, which you'll see in a second. But remember I said before how we tried to get some uh, tickets to the train to Peru? That's because the Peruvian border is about, um, 10 kilometers that way so it's not far away which for me being a Kiwi is like crazy going to another country in New Zealand always means taking a plane because we're like an isolated island in the middle of nowhere obviously I just sound like a rambling crazy person if you're from Europe or America or most places in the world and here's the port of Arica not gonna lie it's just another port but holy moly Check out the size of this flag. Probably the biggest flag I've ever seen. Rather than 
drive down, we're gonna walk down the sweet path. Gives you a good view of the city. I'm so hungry, because, well, I never really had breakfast this morning. So that's probably why. I haven't had a single good coffee while I've been in Chile, but I'm really keen to get one right now, just even if it sucks for the medicinal purposes. This is my first good coffee in Chile. And it could not be like a better day to have a good coffee. I need it. That must be the third person I've seen selling fidget spinners. I remember when I first saw ads for those on Facebook and I thought, what a useless piece of shit. Who's gonna buy that? And now they've gone crazy, so... God, I wish I'd been the person who invented those. <laughs>